So, um, yeah. So when you look at these three questions, you will notice that they are all unit conversion questions. Um, so let me do one of them the proper way, and uh, I'll show you the shortcut for the other two that um, that I think I've demonstrated in uh, one of the other uh, recorded videos. But go to do it again. So. Um, so let me do this one properly, by, which I mean by hand. So it says a soccer field, very in size, uh, large soccer field is OK. Let, uh, let me just doodle to make sure I'm getting the information in the question. Um, so 110 meters long. Is that the correct size for soccer field? That doesn't um, seem like long enough. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't play soccer. I don't know regulation soccer field size. But that's the size of the field, and it's asking for the area in square feet. So, so you know, I can use the formula for area. You know, area is length times height, or 110 meters times 88 meters. And uh, let me just use calculator so that uh, I think I. No, it's a little too complicated to do in my head. I'll just use calculator. So 9680 um, in terms of numbers. And so in physics classes, you will see me <laughs> emphasize units uh, quite a bit. Uh, units are really important in physics. That's one thing that distinguishes your physics class from your math class, your physics instructors from your math instructors. In our heart of heart, your physics instructors care more about units than your math instructors do. So with this numerical answer, the unit for that is meter squared, or meter to the power of two, since I have meter times meter. So since the question is asking for answer in feet squared, we have to convert from this meter squared answer to a feet squared answer. And the way I like to describe that unit conversion is uh, multiply, multiplying by one. So I have this physical quantity, 9680 meters squared. And this is the correct physical quantity with the, together with the unit. It's just uh, not in the unit I want. So I don't want to change this value. Um, what I do want to do is I want to convert from this unit to the unit that I want. So the way to do it is multiplying this number by one, uh, by which I mean a fraction that has a correct uh, numerator and the denominator. And I want to choose my numerator and the denominator in such a way that, um, that the units uh, change to what I wanted to change it to. I want to get rid of meter and get fit instead. And at the same time, I want to construct this fraction in such a way that the numerical, the value of the physical quantity doesn't change. I want to multi be multiplying by one. So I want to get rid of meters. So I want meters in the uh, unit of, as the unit of the denominator. And I want to get fit. So I want fit as the unit of the numerator. And the question gives me the conversion factor helpfully. So one meter is equal to 3.281 feet. So this ratio, it, despite its appearance, it's one, it, because 3.281 feet is equal to one meter. So this is, this is what I mean by multiplying by one. Now, a single factor of this won't do it, because you know single factor of this will cancel one factor of meter, and I'll be left with a meter times foot, which I don't really want. So I need to square this. So that I have meter squared, and uh, that will cancel out the entire factor of meter squared, and I'll end up with unit of feet squared or square foot, that square feet, which is the unit I want. So let me do this in a calculator. I think I still have nine six eighty. Let me multiply by three point two eight one squared. So one of four two oh five. <laughs> uh, that's like. Oh, wait, I guess that's not quite a million, uh, 100,000 square feet. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the answer. And, and by the way, the system is uh, smart enough to 
um, ignore these, the commas don't matter. And um, the way these are scored is they are scored based on relative tolerance. So your answer can be off by as much as 1% most of the time, and it'll get graded as correct. Um, so if you keep up to, if you keep three significant figures, you should be fine in most cases, rounding wise. And in cases where it is not, the question will uh, tell you uh, what kind of precision is needed. So, so that's that question, and this is how you do unit conversion by hand. Um, now for the remainder of the questions, it will take a bit of time, uh, more time than I'd like to spend if I do this by hand for all the questions. So let me use the shortcut, which is that I'm going to use Ofram Alpha. So let me just bring up oframalpha.com. Uh, this is basically an online calculator, and it's a smart online calculator. One particular way in which it is smart is it's aware of units. So if I enter a physical quantity, like a six foot four inches, uh, I'm not 100% sure how it'll interpret the word, the abbreviation in. Let me just put it in and then see what it does. It uses some kind of an AI. So I always double check input interpretation. It looks like it understood me correctly. And by default, it'll give me a bunch of lists, which is often in like different common units. So a meter is actually one of them. So uh, there's my answer, 1.93 meter. Um, and it, if you want it to look less like a, um, less like a just Google searching, you could say, okay, six foot, four feet in, uh, oh, wait, no, six foot, four feet, uh, six foot, uh, four inches. I don't know how it'll take this in meters. Um, I okay, it interpreted it correctly, <laughs> two meters, yeah. And so, you know, if, if you are looking for an unusual unit that's not included here, and I don't know if a further long is a unit of length, um, then, um, then yeah, you, you specify that unusual unit to get that unusual unit. So Ofram Alpha is, uh, you know, one of the tools that you are allowed to use, and I do encourage you to use because sometimes people get stuck on calculator mistakes and minor things that really um, shouldn't be the stumbling block in this class. So for this question, 342 meters per second. Oh, let me see if a kilometers per hour is one of the units it'll give me. Uh, miles per hour, I guess no kilometers per hour. Okay, then. So I have to ask um, in K KPH. Uh, oh, it, yeah. And sometimes, you know, it has that uh, kind of that um, sometimes quick result to get you what you are looking for. Um, so here's the convert this to that. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. And that's the result. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you feel like you need unit conversion practice, um, this is kind of a way to generate uh, examples where you can practice with, um, yeah.